Hello, my dear Scorpios. How are you? My dear friends, this is your weekly general and love title reading for your sign for female and male Scorpios all over the world. 26th of November until 2nd of December 2018 is here. So let's see together what you can expect. Let me start, <coughs> excuse me, with the very first tarot card which basically describes you and how you see yourself or maybe what you expect this is what i have for you temperance peace and harmony angelic ability to achieve balance and to bring opposites and even rivals together harmonious and spiritual life obviously now is very important for you so also you can see man and a woman bridging the bridge you know trying you know to connect you know with one another probably not only on a emotional but on a spiritual level you know as well uh, sometimes this tarot card basically talks about you know your ex but doesn't have to be doesn't have to be you know could be you know a spiritual connection between you and your current partner okay all in all major arcana uh, temperance talks about higher values when you are not in a relationship or when we talk about job you know as well only because of money or because sex or whatever the, the, you have this ability to see or to find higher value in this human being next to you also you want to know what's the purpose of this re love relationship you know and job you know as well you now will act like a protector you have this feeling and urge to protect someone but also i have a feeling that your current partner simply wants to love you and to protect you there is someone in your life who can understand you on more deeper type of uh, level than ever before can you see this beautiful angel? Can you see such a beautiful tarot card? Tarot card of peace, harmony, connection and understanding. What are your needs and what this person next to you basically need from you? Beautiful. Now, let me start here. You want to know, do you already know your future partner? Okay let me think and the answer is yes if you are single you already know this person very well well nice because meeting could be so exhausting right so look around and smile because he is coming ready or not two of pentacles this is you saying no there is nobody in my life you know all people that i know you know they are boring they think only about job, money, and hobby, or, you know, whatever, you know. I'm not interested in these people that I know. And, you know, uh, you are maybe even a little bit, you know, indecisive what you should do. But basically, all people that I know, they are so boring, you know. I don't like, like, neither of them. Wait a second. Hold on, your horses. Because I can see, you know, this could be someone who is different. Could be someone who is younger. I can see a new type of energy entering into your life. Could be Taurus, could be Virgo, or could be Capricorn. This person probably is going to look to you. Not just different, but immature, you know, or whatever. I don't see this person as my boyfriend or girlfriend. But still, this person uh, is bringing you a message, important one. I can see opposites are attracting in a very fast and physical type of a way six of cups ouch you are still dreaming of your ex with six of cups well to some extent you know there is still possibility for reunion but you are so stuck in your past just try let go release this sadness and even anger and try to move on 
I know this is easy for me to say, especially if you were connected with Cancer or Pisces. There is unexplainable connection, magnetic, still, between you and this person. Next set of cards, what is this? Love or friendship? So, maybe you are already related and you still do not know, you know, who am I to you? Love, lover, boyfriend, girlfriend, or we are just friends? Well, could be both. Just wait and see, because real love is a mixture of sincere love feelings with a touch of friendship. Or just, you can ask him, how you see me in your life? This might help. I do not expect, Scorpios, that you are shy. So simply ask. You have nothing to lose. You only can gain. Eight of Wands. Wow. <laughs> Eight of Wands is beautiful tarot card. This is confirmation that you are on a good track. Swift change. Action, action, action. Phone call, you know, Skype, Internet, communication, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, meeting sound from afar. This is also the sign for long distance relationship. But one thing more, something special is coming, you know. Probably you can feel that, you felt that somehow in the past next even months, that something big is coming. So now, when Jupiter finally is in a sign of such informations, people, foreigners, strangers, and even past life lovers, boyfriend, girlfriends, you know, from a past life, now can come. Because Jupiter in the sign of Sage is a sign of travelers, traveling, and you know, people who might now come. So you need to be open for what is coming. Past life love. Be ready. Fast, very fast. Life partner from a previous uh, incarnation obviously is here now for better or for worse. Because, you know, there is no easy karmic type of love relationship. Biggest love of yours is here. But let me remind you once again, there is a not should be unresolved. Ain't gonna happen overnight. You need to work on it. Maybe also, I mean, maybe already you are in a relationship with love of your life, you know. So somehow you will get a confirmation that this person will stay with you. Also, I have Queen of Wands, uh, which is Leo Sag or Eris. So this is also another beautiful sign. And someone is very passionately in love with you. With this person, you will have spiritual connection. And bonding. If this is someone completely new, especially this person is connected with your first circle of your friends, maybe this person is connected with your job, throughout your job, also uh, maybe you travel or maybe this person travel, or simply you will get you will get this confirmation. Maybe you met someone in August or June. This person now is coming back, and this person will find you somehow. You will get a message or simply this person will call you saying, you know, I'm in your town, you know, do you want to see me? Right away you will feel even in the voice of this person that this person probably is very good for you. Your expectations at first ain't going to be big. But let me tell you one thing, expectations of this person is much more bigger than you ever can imagine. So just feel this spiritual connection, you know, bond with this person. Because I think that this person could be very important for your life. Beautiful. So Scorpios, this is what I have for you. General story, but still not bad, right? If you want to hear a story, book a private reading with me. Simply call me. Please make sure to subscribe on my channel. Like and share this video with your friends. God bless you all.